Hey everybody, GXW here. Uh, this is a really quick video inspired by Big Clive, who did a commentary about different uses for nail polish and the like in electronics and technical stuff. It was a really good video, but he said something in the process of it that made me wonder. And that was exactly how conductive is a normal variety of nail polishes when used, you know, to waterproof a circuit board or something. Now, I don't have a specialized high voltage uh, supply to put crazy high, you know, say vacuum tube circuit voltages or transmitter tube voltages onto it. But I do have my trusty Protec 608 multimeter, which has been fairly accurate for me up into the millions of ohms. And so I painted a plastic lid with three common types of nail polish, let them dry, and I'm going to see if there is any conductivity uh, between the three types or any conductivity at all. And I also have, uh, which I'll bring in after, a plate that contains the same but on a surface which can absorb and soak in some of the nail polish. And as you can see, it has a lot of it soaked in to the plate. So first off, I'm going to shoot for doing it with the nail polish that is on the clear plastic lid where there's no absorption of the nail polish into the surface. So let me get started with that. I'll see if I can line this up with the camera so we can see what the heck's going on. So first of all, This is on the clear polish, which nobody can see. And even when I get very close, there is no discernible conduction. Likewise, as I move along the black, there is even a, a millimeter away, no conduction. And on the silver, there's no conduction. I mean, of course, as soon as you touch the actual probes, there's obviously conduction back there. I'll try and see if I can get this plate in there in the same way. Uh, sorry for the bad camera, but my primary light for filming has blown itself out. So I'm currently using just available light in the kitchen. Again, clear. Uh, even at a distance of just a millimeter or two, there's no discernible conduction. Then across at black, no discernible conduction. And on silver, still no discernible conduction. And the answer is not at two and a half volts and probably not at all at anything 12 volts and under. The only thing I would add to this might be if you're dealing with 12 volts or even 5 volts and any kind of significant current, the temperature might allow the polish to expand and make a pathway for moisture to get into the board. And if that occurs, it's possible that moisture might get trapped under the nail polish. Anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. GXW, talk to you guys soon.